We have a fairy special announcement. Mm -hmm. Direct from here in Fairy HQ. Direct. Mm -hmm. 30th of July is Queen Kate's birthday. And it's International Friendship Day. <gasps> it is. Hence why Cloda and I are here together. We're BFFs. besties. I think we might need to decorate to celebrate this occasion though. It's not very birthday y. No, let's put something up. Okay, let's put up some decorations. Ah! Ta -da! Ta -da! That's better. Ta -da! <laughs> now, as we were saying, it's Queen Kate's birthday this Saturday, the 30th of July, as is International Fairy Day. So we have a message to send to Queen Kate, who is the queen, queen of, of all the fairies, fairies in Fairy Valley, which is Happy, Happy Birthday, Queen Kate! <laughs> oh, these celebrations are already starting in Fairy Valley, boys and girls, and your fairies at home will know all about this very special occasion as they well. Will. Because there's going to be a big party in Fairy Valley. Humongous! Yeah. We have a really special make and do for you mm -hmm. to do today mm -hmm. for your fairy because it's coming up to International Friendship Day. Absolutely. Hence why I have Fairy Clota here with me because she is my friend and we're going to make something together. So yes. I'm going to show you how to do it. Your fairy thinks you're the greatest human on the face the of the planet. And greatest. you think your fairy is the best in the whole of Fairy Valley. Isn't Obviously. It? And, and that's why you're best friends. Absolutely. Yeah. So what we're going to do for International Fairy Day and to celebrate Queen Kate's birthday as well mm. is we're going to show you guys how you can make a friendship bracelet for yourself and a teeny tiny little friendship bracelet for your fairy only. Except the, it might need to be a belt. It might need to be a belt. Because it'd be microscopic if we tried to make them a bracelet. And us humans just can't make bracelets that small. No, we can't. Let's get started. But you know what, okay. before we start, um, <laughs> before we start. <laughs> oh God. Let's get started. No, okay. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> So just before we start, I think it's really, really cool that Queen Kate's birthday is on International Friendship Day because really? she's the one who came up with the whole idea of humans and fairies living together and that being best friends. so true. It was Queen Kate that came up with the idea and then she approached Aoife and Ni nee from the Irish Fairy Door Company she and did. they helped find human homes for fairies and that's where we are today. And that's why humans and fairies are such brilliant friends. Think of all those friendships she made. All those friends, millions and millions of friendships all around the world. Magical. This is the best make and do ever. Okay. Celebrate this occasion. Let's go, let's get started. Okay, so okay. what do we need? First of all, you're gonna need some wool or thread. Or you can use ribbon, straw, or it's any kind idea. of string you have. We use these, these are special cross stitching and embroidery threads. You're going and then to we also need, to... need a scissors, mm -hmm. but yeah. as always boys and girls, when you're using a scissors at home, you have to have a grown up with you at all times. All times. Safety is cool. Safety. Is cool. So what you need to do first is mm -hmm. you need to cut your thread. So it does need to be a bit longer than if it were to go around your wrist. And then you need to make that on the double. Okay, here I go. So I'll cut this off. So we should be left with a piece that length. And because we're gonna do a plait, we need three pieces. So can I have another color piece? Absolutely, let's go with red. Oh, I like red. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna make sure that it's the same, same length. length. Okay, Great ready? Close, there we go. And let's have one more color, please. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I go yellow. Yeah, just yellow. Just to brighten nice. it up a little bit. I do like yellow. Mm -hmm, me too. Mm -hmm. okay. Such a cheery color. It is, it's really cheery. And it's what the color in the middle of a daisy is. And mm -hmm. I love daisies. Me too. They're the friendliest flower. Oh, this is looking good, very Coda. Okay. okay. So then you have your three different colors together. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it over so that the ends are at the same piece like that and then we're going to have a loop at the other end and you're going to tie a knot at the loop. Right. Now you want your loop to be still be big enough to fit somebody's finger through. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to tie a little knot like that. Cheveille. That's me. That's you. Do you think you could put your finger through the loop for Absolutely. me please? Absolutely. This is the part that you can do with your friend. Mm -hmm. So your friend can hold on to one side while you plait it. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to move these out of the way for the minute. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to start plaiting. So Cheveille has our loop and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six strands and we're gonna make them into three. Let's put two colors together. Two colors together, so that's one strand, and then two colors together, and that's two strands, and then two colors together, that's three. So we should have three strands like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to plait them. Oh, we might need to explain this because some boys and girls might not know how to plait. Yeah, this would be a good way to learn how to do mm -hmm. a plait, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. So what you need to do is you keep your middle one there, and you put the outside one, 
into the middle and it crosses over. Do you see the way it's crossed over there at the top? And then we take the other outside and put it into the middle and then we're crossed over again. So then we take the outside and put it into the middle and, and we the take the outside and into the, the middle, middle and the outside and oh, put it in the middle. I see it, we're in a routine. And the outside and into the middle and that's all you do. You just keep doing that and as you practice this, you'll get even faster. What you do at the end is you tie a knot. Now, that's your friendship bracelet finished. Pretty, huh? Is this the part where I get to try it on? Yes. <laughs> yes. Pop out your wrist there. Perfect. And what you do is you just put the end through the loop mm -hmm. and then tie it in a little, oh, like the first bit of tying your shoelaces. And there you go. That's amazing. Isn't that beautiful? Do you like a boys and girls? Well done, Fairy Cloda. Well, thank you. Now, boys and girls, Fairy Cloda and I did make another friendship bracelet oh, earlier. Did. And here it is. Hooray! And it looks the exact same as the one we just made. Mm -hmm. And this is for you, Fairy Cloda. Oh, great! Look at wear. So we have matching bracelets. We have matching bracelets. Now, boys and girls, we spoke earlier and we said that as well as making human sized fairy human friendship size. bracelets, yeah. that we can also show you how to make something really cool for your fairy to wear around their waist. Yeah, because as we said, fairies' wrists are teeny tiny. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna make them a friendship bracelet for their waist, like a belt. So this is a little bit bigger than a fairy, mm -hmm. but we have made a teeny tiny friendship bracelet belt for our Yay! fairy. And it matches our bracelet it as does, well. It does, because we're all friends. We're all friends. So we're gonna leave this at our fairy's door tonight so they can wear it to Queen Kate's birthday party. Right idea, yes. Which fairy though will get this belt? Well, we just have to make one for all of them. Great idea. Yeah. Okay, we're going to be very busy at work. Very busy. So, boys and girls and fairies all over the world, enjoy the celebrations this weekend enjoy. for Queen Kate's birthday. Oh, I'm so excited so for Queen exciting. Kate's birthday. So exciting. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And like this video. And if you have a message for Queen Kate for her birthday, you can comment below, below and we'll pass them on. That's a great idea. Yes, yeah, she loves to oh, hear from all the boys and that. girls. So we'll pass them on personally. Mm-hmm. Talk to you soon, boys and girls. Bye. Bye.